Hello there YouTube, Quagram here. So um, this is uh, into what I will call episode 3B. Because uh, during the um, recordings for episode 3 I made a few recordings that might be considered a bit uh, off topic from what I was making. So um, I put those here, which are, I suppose all of them would be uh, it um a guided tour around the uh, server from the well just the spawnville that is so uh with that i'm just gonna play those and didn't make an ending for us so um it will just end be sure to watch uh, episode 3 first and that's it and my pastel will see you in just a second. Hello so again. So I uh, just realized what I can do while I wait for these guys to uh, to grow. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can do another one now. This takes a really long time. So I'm gonna give a uh, tour of the server. I'm gonna show off the areas that. Or at least the spawn town, perhaps a few of the other places uh, that I know of. Already visited a few places uh, in the last episode, so yeah. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go around and show stuff. So um, by now I'm sure you already been. Somewhat familiar with my own base, my smelter here, my fishing machine here, and my small farm uh, now growing only potatoes. I had carrots for it before, but uh, now that I have a dedicated carrot farm, why would I need them here? My chickens, of course. Too many chickens. And uh, my stables, my horses. <laughs> yeah. Here's of course the uh, new building that I made in. The, uh, that was the first episode. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, um, have I walked around uh, the track so far? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, I might as well take, uh, take the um, observer route around the track, as far as that is completed. <laughs> so, uh, enter here. Over the bridge. There's uh, this place. It's uh, quite well uh, decorated with uh, lanterns here and there. Lighting it up. Get a good view of the starting line from here. And, um, I'm considering switching out the uh, countdown system I have for the racing track because uh, right now I'm using uh, a uh, daylight sensor and uh, the countdown is a bit too slow so um, I don't know that might be a project for a uh, later episode so uh, yeah this place has uh, three floors each one giving a good um, view of the starting area for the track. Yeah. Which of course leads to this uh, back area. So you can have a good view of the ocean. Or a giant lake. Oh, 
you can't really tell in Minecraft. Uh, not sure where the bond is between a uh, between an ocean and a large lake is in Minecraft. Because uh, there are no waves. <laughs> There's a shortcut behind here that leads uh, back to the bridge and a uh, small staircase down here that leads the other, well, to the back side of the starting area. And here's the rear end of um, Lapo space. Lapo has not been on for quite a while. So, um,. Not sure if it's quite the server or not. Um, yeah. Might as well come back to his base afterwards. Uh, made a nice uh, system with that um, small harbor and a hidden entrance. So uh, I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna go clear to see where this is going. There's a small harbor here connected to that uh, area on the ground there. Might have shown it in an early episode, can't remember. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the uh, tree house observation area. So, um, you get a nice view of the track from here. And of course, there's a uh, system of uh, higher up um, areas. It's most of these um, higher layers are actually what they could call hotel rooms. We will see that uh, here. And as uh, as I did in the last episode, I will try to put in um, some uh, small clips down in the lower right corner here with um, clips of my time-lapse recording creating this so um yeah actually should probably edit them in uh, clip by clip from the web beginning because uh, there, there's a lot of um, building that went into this, a lot of recordings, so yeah, probably gonna clip in a uh, few clips to the lower right. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice system with small rooms up in the trees. I'm just thinking some uh, fictional scenario with uh, tourists coming to watch the watch some races and such they can just uh, step down from a room and just walk and <laughs> look straight down possibly seeing uh, some horses run by in the race or maybe pigs I'm thinking of having a pig race once now that I'm getting a pig farm up and running that could uh, possibly be a thing Yeah. Oh there. There's a skelly horse there. Ooh, I didn't spawn. There's an incompleted room. It's lacks a uh lacks a bed, doors, whatever. But uh yeah. All this get a good view. It ends in um, this ladder here. Goes to the other side of this um, heightened walkway. And is that a zombie I see there? Yep, that's a zombie. Another observation boast. 
of sheep. Got a good view of the um, of the rock turn over to the uh, bridge. And the uh, other mansion in a uh, heated race, some horse was actually crashed into this outpost, to this viewing post, so ob observation post. That's the correct turn, I think. Well, that would be interesting, but uh, I don't really know. Close this and uh, get me up here. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna walk down here. So this uh, passage right here um, goes alongside the uh, track for a little while. So um, we can have some uh, spectators build up uh, around here, watching this area. It's quite simple. Right, and this leads to a uh, a back walk area that's uh, hidden in the woods. This dense forest that I carefully created to be as dense as possible. And here's my uh, tree outpost with a passageway between the track and the uh, walkway here. Have I shown this outpost before? I think I may have. If not, well, here it is. So, um, simple system. A shortcut out to the treetops here, if needed. And the chest under trapdoor. Just to have it seem like something sort of safe. A short, small balcony. Yeah. Pretty basic base. Hmm. Alright. And this path leads up to this very open area. Where I'm figuring I'm gonna have some sort of. Uh, uh, gonna use it for something. I haven't quite decided. Um, yeah. Alright, so I'm um, gonna take a quick um, gonna take a quick recording of uh, me on the horse running on the track, so you can see the, the whole track. Not sure if I have done that before. I really should review my old recordings. I, mean, I have only made two episodes before, so um, but yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so um, time to do a few. So time to do a short, simple, well, run through this track, since I'm going to be working more of it uh, in the next three episodes, unless I change my mind. Quick run through. <laughs> going to be so many changes there. be a thing. Nice sharp turn. Let's see if I can time this right. Nope. I failed. <laughs> And 
I'm through. <laughs> yeah, so with that, I was just gonna run around. Yeah. Gonna run around and see if I can find some. Uh... Oh, right, right. I should uh, probably show you uh, different bases around here. Just the spawn time after all. Hmm. Alright. Back in the little. Wow. Not sure if I've seen this particle effect before, but uh, this sand is actually giving off grains of sand. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, but be careful on this place. Anyways, this is the hidden entrance to Lapo Space. And uh, as I mentioned before, I haven't seen him online for quite a while. But uh, let's see if we can make it in. Yep. So, um, yeah. Got a nice little hidden cave system. And uh, his own uh, little farm and uh, fishing machine. I uh, don't really know what is being working on over here. Maybe into the mine. Not gonna dig too close into this. But yeah, he, it's quite a nice cave system under his house, so uh, he made good use of that. <laughs> This storage room. Not gonna pop into this place. Right, there was a ladder here. A nice little house. A well. much up there. Yeah. Got a nice little base with a not so well maintained wheat farm. Up on uh, the far side of the hill from where the rest of the spawn town is. And uh, here of course is uh, Callisto's base and uh, if you've seen his videos you know um, how this is and of course I'm gonna show this and I might include a uh, small clip of um, his earlier episodes where he constructed his base so um, it's a simple system with uh, small tiny windows that looks actually pretty good from uh, outside, as you have probably seen passively. <laughs> so yeah, here's the server's original um, fishing machine, and I believe he had an episode about this as well, so I might, might take a really clip of that. Gonna be so much editing on this episode. Probably gonna be a bit longer than the others as well. And up here, the uh, community enchantment table. Which is the reason why I think none of us actually bothered making our own uh, enchantment rooms. It's a high level community enchantment room. <laughs> And uh, as uh, explained in uh, the tutorial, the tutorial we all followed for the fishing machine, it has to be um, only transparent blocks above for the fishing to go as effective as possible. So we made a glass roof. When I made my uh, fishing machine, I made a bit different. Uh, and 
Oh yeah, this tree and what was it that tree over there? Oh, this very um finished manner of his episodes. <laughs> Classical area. So um have I mentioned my well this um chicken monument? <laughs> Yeah, well, that was a fun time, and I brought chickens to the uh, to the town. After I got uh, after I found some eggs and started um, getting a chicken farm up and running, there were still chickens all around the town here in an egg fight with Jaffa. That was fun. Should reenact that one sometime. Oh, the rest of the cake is gone. It's a bit sad. Hmm. All right. Here is um, Big Jaffa's uh, area. Got the uh, quite a talent with building. So, um, a small tree over here. Very, very basic model. With uh, input up here, output down there. Of course, you got this own fish fishing machine underground with a glass block and open stable mailbox. Because, of course. <laughs> the inside of his uh, house, however, is um, less than ideal. Not sure if I would have wanted to go with this, but, uh, well, he's so. His choice. Oh, he uh, rebuilt his uh, fish farm area. That's creative. I think this is his uh, chicken farm. Quite loud. Yeah, he decorated the uh, down at his basement quite well. But this is not his uh, main base anymore. He moved off. As uh, as you know from the previous episode with his uh, jungle base. So um, yeah. And uh, of course through this uh, maybe uh, hard to navigate. Uh, well, not hard to. Uh, not much space to move a uh, walkway. There is a uh, village responder. Village breeder. Nice place. Okay. Good system of uh, village responding here. Oops. I should probably get out of here. I mean, there's nothing killing me, but uh, not only get stuck in there. <laughs> yeah. Short story, villagers, great baby villagers. Baby villagers fall off the edge of the farmland. Rolls down here, get stuck under there. When they to drown, rolls up inside this, uh, inside the bottom of this water elevator. Once gone up, they automatically swim up. It's carried away by the conveyor belt. <laughs> I get uh, called on my uh, animal mistreatment. Uh, <laughs> this is um, just as bad. <laughs> well, uh, I guess this is about what I will um, show for this episode because. Uh, I bet the runtime is going to be 
quite long. So um gonna finish up my um my farm and I will short clip about that as I end the episode. So um see you in a short bit. Surprise surprise! I have an ending for this uh, tour after all. So I realized there's one spawn area I forgot to record or so of um, in this tour. So uh, there is uh, Player Reborn's um, spawn base. He uh, went right ahead and uh, moved off to, an, to another base um, somewhere else on the server. So. Uh, but uh, yeah, here's his um, spawn base. Very, very simple. And uh, Costillo got on and went straight to the bed, skipping. Oh, that looks weird. Yeah. So yeah, Reborn's um, spawn base. Very simple. And they stripped this farm of everything, leaving it just a. Really bare born uh, area. And, uh, yeah. Ah, not sure if I've seen this underground area before. But yeah, he made a small underground area with a incomplete storage area. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, uh, or maybe we had made use of this before, but. Uh, well, he moved on to another place in the server, so... Yeah. And of course, he made his own uh, fishing station. Fish machine, of course. Everyone in the server has one. And this is, of course, his, uh, his mine. Yeah. It's been a bit annoying since he made his mine. So, um, in the... Same area as the community mine. As, uh, yeah. This uh, mine has uh, crossed into the uh, community mine a few times. I think also Jaffa made this uh, mine interfere with the community mine. So, um, yeah. Mining in, <laughs> in the community in spawn town can be a bit uh, tricky. So that's why I always just use the community mine when I'm in mining. Might uh, make my own uh, base of uh, spawn town sometime soon. Also, so um, well, this was a tour of the spawn area. Not much else I can show. There's of course the yeah uh, trading center with its uh, one, two, three, four floors. But, uh, there's not much to show. Walked around there a few times. Only important thing here is the first floor with the uh, community trade area. And of course, the bottom floor with the uh, villager trading. Yeah, quickly jump down. I think I've shown this area before. If not, here it is with a few. Good offers. This is, uh, oh, you can get um, a good uh, book deals here. Postwalker, fire protection, name tag, mending, which of course is uh, really useful. So, um, yeah. All the rejects. This is, of course, the other side of the uh, village reader. With uh, this being where I end up, it's already <laughs> unsorted villagers. Yeah. So um, and this is where all those end up. Not sure if I've shown this before, but um, well, yeah. Yeah, so um, this is it for episode 3B, and uh, end with a nice view of the uh, training uh, area.
And uh, yeah, that's it. So, um, goodbye. <laughs>